All right, it's your boy Lee working K today here up in the, the lovely sunshiny pool park. If we just take a little look around the scenery. Lots of people watching FWA UK. The whole weekend has been a huge, huge, huge success. Doing our thing, representing British wrestling to the fullest. The event so far has been absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, we've performed in front of uh, between two and three hundred thousand fans uh, over the uh, whoa. Over the uh, four days that we've been here, we've had a great reception from the audience, uh, we've had a great reception from the management, uh, the guys have had a great time and the footage looks fantastic, so yeah, it's been a real, real positive experience for everybody involved. Uh, I've been on a few of the rides, uh, went on one or two earlier on, um, I'll be honest, stealth, that busts me every time I get on that. Um, there's a point where I'm just like, oh, I'm hanging on and I'm hanging on, and then it's just like, oh, mate, that's over. wrestling whereas in here they're just sort of passing through so you when you do your matches you've got to do it sort of quick snappy you've got to get them right from the off for a non-wrestling based fan base out there the noise was absolutely like mental that there was the best heat that I've ever heard from a non-American based company. When the FWA first spoke about going mainstream, I think it was an absolutely ridiculous dream for us to expect that it would end up in Fort Park, of all places, um, because it is the nation's real capital. You know, the people that own this place own Orton Towers and Madame Tussauds and these uh, amazing attractions. So to put us here in the heart of really like the live entertainment capital has been a great opportunity for us as a company and a great opportunity for our wrestlers to perform at such a prestigious place. Yeah. 